Hello, welcome to our first interview of 2023. Today, we'll, we'll start this new year with one of the most, well, I mean, it's not the most, I mean, it's the first successful story, actually, of this new year. And today we have Piero Jerena. So Pier Piero Jerena is a student. He wants to become a teacher, an English teacher. And in order to do this, he needs the FCE certificate, which is one of the requirements. If you don't have it, you will never be accepted anywhere you go. Anywho, so he took our program um, 12 weeks ago. And in this short period of time, he was able to get 37 points out of 40 possible questions which means technically that he's ready to take his exam. Hello, Piero. How are you? Hi, teacher Lucio. I'm doing good. Um, uh, well, it's Christmas, so I'm very happy um, to be with my family uh, mm -hmm. here at home. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, well, uh, you know, the, the, the feeling of this season, yeah, it's very special for me. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, man. <laughs> yes. Um, now, Piero, could you tell the audience right now, um, tell us something about you. Like, when do you start learning English? And, and how was this desire, you know, like, why do you want to get this certificate? So tell us. The beginnings, right? Why, when, and why do you decide to start learning English? Well, I I decided to learn English, uh, because um, English is an important language. Yeah, it's I think it's very necessary uh, to learn English to 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 have more opportunities uh, in in the academic field. Um, you can get better jobs. Um, you can travel abroad, and uh, study and work uh, in the United States, Canada, England, or any other English-speaking country. Um, and and so that that was my my best motivation to learn English. And I went. I want to get this certification. Yeah. Um, because uh, I want to be a teacher, yeah. Um, and in, in order to be a teacher, I need this certification. Yeah. Perfect. So that's, yeah. Yeah, it was a great story. Um, why do you want to become a teacher? Because being being a teacher is very rewarding. Um, and also, I like languages, especially English. Um, well, I think I'm good at it. <laughs> so, uh, I think I, I think it's it's very um. It is very, very um. It's great if you, if you share your your knowledge, with others. Sharing is caring, right? Sharing yes. is caring. So that's great. You care for the rest and that's good. It's really good. Um, okay, now you want to become an English teacher and in order to do this, you need a certificate. Um, but you're also you're studying methodology. So could you tell the people who are watching this video why getting ready for this certificate is perhaps a bit more important than studying methodology. Well, because this certification mm. is a requirement Correct. to to work in an important institution mm -hmm. in in the country. Mm -hmm. And as as this certification qualifies the upper intermediate level. Correct. 
uh, yeah, I think it's it's an international qualification. So right. it's yeah, so it's it's more important yeah, mm -hmm. than uh, than the course of, of, of methodology. Right. Now at what point do you realize that this certificate is important? Because what happens is that many people who want to become an English teachers, they believe that okay, I'm gonna study methodology and that's it. I'm gonna find a great job. But that's not true. I mean, there's only one step, okay? So besides studying methodology, which is good, I'm not saying it's bad. You also need to get the certificate, the Cambridge certificate, either the FCE or the CAE. Um, at what point do you realize about the importance of holding this certification? Well, when I finished studying in English at Idiomas Católica, mm -hmm. uh, I I realized that the next mm -hmm. step was to to take an international exam. Correct. So uh, that is when when I thought, oh, teacher Lucio has a, a mm -hmm. an, an 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 academy to that that trains. Yeah to get the international exam so uh, i i received your your emails and i i thought and then i i contacted you good good um okay so you got an email from me and maybe you saw some testimonials of people who also want to become english teachers and maybe you saw their stories and you felt identified with some of them, and you just want to follow the, you just wanted to follow those steps too. Yes, um, the other students' uh, testimonials inspired me. Yep. Um, and yeah. I, I also, I also wanted to, to, to improve, to improve in and continue mm -hmm. with with my, with my English. Uh, studies and Good. to i wanted i wanted to get my english to the next level correct uh yeah and i think the best um the best way to do that is to was was to get a an international an international certification mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course now you took our program we have been working together for around 12 16 weeks could you tell, um, could you tell us how was your experience with this program? Well, the experience was very de delighted. Mm. Uh, um, uh, I, I, I felt, I felt very comfortable. Good. Um, um, and and also the, uh, the classes classes were 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 very uh, were were very good and helpful yeah you know? right. they they uh, they helped me a lot yeah and um, i i like them uh, mm -hmm. i also like the simulations of of the of the speaking right. uh, part um and the activities we did in the class like the mm -hmm. games that teacher juan uh, mm -hmm. made us play great okay okay yeah i mean these simulations that we have for the speaking um, um many people talk about that right because of course you can get ready on your own for the reading and the listening section, all you need to do is just to get the material and do the work. But when it comes to speaking and writing, you need guidance. You need someone next to you who is telling you, hey, this is not the way. You should do this, right? You should. You, should, you need this feedback. Otherwise, you you will never know if you're doing great or not. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah. 
writing and speaking are the more are the most uh, difficult skills to develop mm. yeah uh so um well i think mm. your guidance and and teacher juan's guidance mm -hmm. was a uh, very very helpful of course yeah. uh, um yeah they were very they were always uh, um um willing to mm -hmm. to help and to absolve our doubts great i'm glad you like it man i'm glad you like it um now what are your plans for the future because you're almost finishing the program with us what's the next step for you well uh i am planning to to be an english teacher good yeah um, um and and maybe maybe um uh to to maybe maybe also i'm i i i will be uh, st studying uh, a career in mm -hmm. in overseas Good. yeah yeah uh, yes but my question is when are you planning to take the exam <laughs> ah, <laughs> maybe that's the next step right <laughs> um okay um sorry uh, I'm planning mm. to take the exam on January 14th. Good. Great. And after that? Mm. After that, uh, I'm going to, to apply for a correct for a for a for an English teacher job. Correct. Perfect. Well, you will be well equipped. You will be super prepared because um you will have your methodology diploma you will have your um Cambridge certificate so you got the perfect weapons to be ready for the war you know so you're you will be ready to apply for any job I mean who wouldn't who wouldn't hire a person like you who is prepared young charismatic to be part of their team so if I were the CEO of my own company I would hire you so no doubts about it. Um, but this is the feeling, right? This is how it feels when you're prepared. All right, when you're prepared for something. So great, Piero. Now, yeah. just to wrap up this interview, what would you recommend to those people out there, those students who also want to be English teachers because they, they feel like it? Right, they feel like they could be a good teacher. So, what would you recommend to those people who also want to become English teachers uh, out there? Well, I would recommend people who want to be teachers mm. um, that they they have to to have confidence in them, right. um, and that they they have to to learn as much as they can. Mm -hmm. Especially if they want to be teachers, right? Because if you are, if you're planning to become a teacher, you need to know a lot. Yes. You, you don't need you to know need everything, to... but you need to know a lot. Yeah. You, yes, exactly. You need to master uh, mm. all the English, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, the, the grammar, speaking, listening, writing. Um, and yeah, and and also and also it's it's very it's it's uh necessary to 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 have soft skills. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, a very very and a very good communicative skills. Uh, so that that would be my best recommendation. Right. Perfect, Piero. So congratulations for um finishing the program with us. Congratulations for those scores. Um, those 37, 38, 35 out of 40 questions that you have been getting from these mock tests that we um, allow students who, who are part of our program to take. And I'm quite sure that by the time you book your exam, you will get it. We're waiting for the results. Um, and yeah, please keep us posted. Okay. 
um, thank you for your work, teacher. Um, I I will I will I will post uh, all 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 the mock tests that I will I will take in the in the next days. Good man. And yeah, and I will I will call you. In, yeah. <laughs> as, as as soon as I as soon as I get my certificate. I'm waiting for your call, man. I'm waiting for your call. So, again, um, congratulations for this. Happy holidays, and talk to you soon. Oh. Thank you, teacher.